why are crunches and why is spinal flexion, you might have answered this, but why is spinal flexion or repeated spinal flexion deleterious to the spine and uh, what, should, what should be opposing the spinal flexion or you said if too much stress on one specific spot could cause pain, what, what should someone do as opposed to <clears throat> crunches? Yeah. Or I, I, I understand your question. Um, I'm just going to define for your listenership what flexion is versus flexion effort or moment. Flexion sure. movement is what your spine goes through if you do repeated sit-ups. You bend the spine forward over and over and over again. That is different from flexion challenge or flexion torque. Um, if you're familiar with doing, say, a push-up or, or a stir-the-pot kind of exercise, that is still very challenging to the abdominal muscles, and yet no flexion movement takes place. So th that's, that's what people don't recognize, is that the difference between using your abdominals and creating flexion effort versus flexion motion. Flexion motion with compressive load is an injury mechanism. We've proved this over and over again, that if you keep bending the spine under compressive load over and over again, you will work the nucleus, the center gel of the uh, disc, through delaminations that will slowly accumulate. Um, now, it, uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but make a note for later that that's person-specific in of itself. Heredity does make a difference there. But nonetheless, uh, that, that combination of flexion motion with compressive load from muscle activity will slowly lead to back pain versus um, if that same person was to avoid repeated curl-ups where they're bending the spine or repeated sit-ups and replace those with exercises like the stir the pot, which is basically a push-up posture where the elbows are placed on a big uh, gym ball and they swirl their arms around uh, and, and stir the pot is a good name because that's what it looks like. Uh, that is a terrific abdominal challenge but the spine isn't actually bending, and that does several things. Now the tolerable training volume in that particular individual grows. Um, if you keep doing flexion motion, using the sit-up example, uh, the person will actually wear or work on the discs of their back more than the actual muscle. So they're wearing out the joints before they wear out the muscle. Well, your objective is the opposite. You want to spare the joints and really train the muscle underneath. So you can see how exercises like, say, doing a push-up and a walk-out with the arms or uh, pushing exercises or stir the pot are all very abdominal muscle intensive, and yet they spare the joints underneath, therefore increasing the uh, tolerable volume. So you get more development of athleticism and less pain. So uh, do you see it, it's it's back pain type specific um, to, to answer that question. Okay, perfect.